Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to build a Linux PC from an eBay pre-built purchase PC, all for coding and programming. Let's get to it. Hey guys, I want to do a quick video about a new machine I'm putting together for a family member, a friend, uh, so a watcher of this channel, so I'm not going to put this out until after the holidays. Um, basically how you can build a cheap uh, coding machine, I will call it. Um, this one runs Linux only. Um, so we're going to throw this together. And as you can see, I've already preloaded for them, even though they're probably not going to like it so much. Uh, Sublime Text, uh, the Visual Studio Code, uh, you know, I, I got a few things on to get them started. Um, Doing Linux is much easier it was back when I started doing this. Uh, this went on no problem. All I did was create a bootable um, USB drive, uh, put it in the machine and went. Now let's talk a little bit about the machine. Um, I bought this off of eBay. This is a, a Lenovo M73. It's, a, it's kind of like a corporate desktop system, I'll call it. Uh, that one, uh, I paid $50 for it plus shipping. Uh, so it was a great deal. Uh, everything in it, 8 gig of RAM, 500 uh, gigabyte hard drive. Uh, now it is a mechanical drive, so we could upgrade this with an SSD to make it even faster, but it is pretty zippy the way it is. Um, I, I'm gonna leave it like that. Okay, let's talk about cost for a second. Um, this is total what it costs to get, uh, to get into this Linux machine uh, start to finish. Um, Machine plus shipping was 65 bucks. Uh, we picked up a monitor at a thrift store for $15. The keyboard for $4. A mouse for $3 at the thrift store. <clears throat> Actually, I think the mouse was two, but we'll call it three. Um, we needed a monitor cable. We picked that up off of Amazon. Uh, we bought the uh, display port to DVI adapter to fit the monitor. Um, basically, it was a cable, not an adapter. And then a Wi-Fi USB uh, dongle, I guess we'll call it, and that one was uh, $10. So total all in, $105 for a full working machine to use for coding. Um, pretty cheap, uh, sure beats buying a brand new computer, uh, especially with the specs that we have. The 8 gigs of RAM, the i5, 4th gen processor. Um, so, you know, it has a 4600 graphics, so even if you wanted to play games on this thing, you could still play some of the games uh, at reduced settings. But all in all, uh, turned out really well. Uh, so I think it's going to be a good gift for, uh, for a coder. Hey guys, real quick, I just wanted to show you how the machine performs, just doing some basic tasks. Uh, this isn't going to be a benchmarking video or anything, but, you know, just open up a web browser, open up Sublime Text, type in a few things in. Um, actually, it's it, with Linux, it's pretty fast. Um, again, this isn't going to be used as a big powerhouse machine just for coding and compiling. Um, so I think it's going to be good. But here's an idea of, of what the performance is like. That's all we have for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what your latest Linux build is, what you use it for, um, coding or otherwise. Uh, let's see, uh, let's get the conversation started. Thanks for watching.